Okay, so I'm searching the internet and I came across this and my question is, are they trying to come back? Are they coming back? Can they even come back? Maybe. Okay, once upon a time we had apple bottom jeans and they paired perfectly with these boots with this fur and they had the entire club looking at her and they pretty much ran the world for like six to seven years and because of that song and those music videos we were led to believe that these pants had out of this world success but then out of nowhere people stopped wearing them and eventually they were sold to Dr. J's and we never saw them again. And a lot of us want to know why, what happened? We naturally want to know what happened to these brands when they fade out. And that's probably just because we're attracted to nostalgia. It blows our minds when things are there and they disappear. But here in this new age, do they have the opportunity to come back? And if they do come back, do you think they can actually win? I'm gonna leave that answer with you guys, but what I wanna do right now is take a historic approach on this brand to see if there's even a possibility from history that they can come back. So in 2003, Nelly, Yomi Martin and Ian Kelly launched a fashion brand specifically for women. It was Nelly's vision and motto that pretty much set the tone for this. He wanted clothes to fit a woman, not women fit the clothes. This brand was for women of all sizes and shapes, helping them embrace their curves and beauty. The clothing line then went on a model search that was televised on VH1, and at that very moment, the brand exploded. Seriously, within the first two weeks being on sales, they were sold out. Everybody went nuts. It was like every woman had apple bottom jeans and if you didn't, you just were not popular. Publicity was the reason why this brand had its buzz. From top names like Vivica Fox, Fergie, Oprah, Ashanti, even down to like some of the B-list models, this brand had spark. Not to mention that one amazing song that will resonate in your brains for the rest of your life. Wait, 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 wait. Before I continue, there's one thing I need to mention because I can't let this continue going on. The name of that song was called Low. Not apple bottom jeans, despite what YouTube says. And it was not made by T-Pain, it was made by Flo Rida. Let's just make sure that we got that right. Low by Flo Rida featuring T-Pain. Not apple bottom jeans by T-Pain. That's never gonna be right. Anyways, this was what propelled apple bottoms, or at least that was the blanket success of what we thought launched them. But I really wanna ask you guys this question. Do you even remember people wearing that brand? Like if you really dive back into the history, do you really remember people actually wearing those jeans? I thought I did, but after asking my Facebook friends and my IG followers and stuff like that, who are roughly around the ages of 29 to 40, none of these women actually owned a pair. Which is weird saying how the brand launched when they were like 13, 14, to like 24, 25 years old, which is the sweet spot for every brand because it's multi-generational. And see, let me go ahead and break this down for you guys, all right? See, while people between the ages of 13 and 18 probably cannot afford anything to start a movement, not entirely true today, we're gonna call these people, mommy, daddy, please. But whether, mommy, daddy, please, make up with not having money in their pockets, they're still being influenced by things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TV. Now back then, mommy, daddy, please only had tv they would gain their sense of fashion from people between the ages of 19 and 25 we're gonna call those i have my own money and i do my own shit. and stated in one of my older videos the young want to be old and the old wants to be young which means that the mommy daddy please would have known enough about the brand to beg for it just by watching the i have my own money and i do my own shit people on tv and that i have my own money and i do my own shit people would have kept wearing the brand to stay relevant because they want to look younger meaning if apple bottom hit their target between 19 and 24 they would have cultivated a generation that would still love the brand die hard fans but i digress okay so here's a real problem all right the line was a denim line which back in the day was actually kind of popping but it was starting to fade as time went on as a matter of fact it makes sense during the summer months that people wouldn't wear denim that was the problem with the early 2000s and music videos because that was unrealistic for anybody to wear a denim jean jacket and some denim pants during the summer because i mean who's gonna do that that would burn you up because women wearing denim shorts which hey not an issue but people were wearing denims 24 7 365 days a year meaning people were never in that relaxed fit state which is contradictory to what nelly was saying about clothes fitting a woman not the other way around 
women were actually moving past that rough denim look into more of a classier look not saying that denims aren't classy and that denims aren't being worn today because even on hot days women will put on like denim pants and denim shorts but it's that lack of relaxation that they're looking for so even though they're hanging out with their boyfriends in these denim pants and these denim shorts you will still find a few women out there in just sweatpants or basketball shorts and they just want to be relaxed and at this point in time apple bottom could have accommodated for those obvious l's that they were going to take and it's not like they didn't have the opportunity to hop on that I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but they should have known throughout their brand just having denim and track pants was not going to accommodate everybody during these hot days. Also, I could get into the theories on why what you wear affects your mental thinking, but that's another video for another time. But let's talk about color. The early 2000s up to like 2008 was a weird time. We were getting into muted colors, but instead of it being like light muted and pastels, we were for dark muted and vibrant colors. But what does that have to do with their decline? Actually, it has a lot to do. Because as time went on, we now see dark colors and we feel overwhelmed by them. As a matter of fact, I can go through IG right now today and show you that the most warm dark colors right now will be black, purple, and red. And people are choosing lighter tones anyways, not just white. Because we are all trying to beat the heat. Not to mention that back then dark colors ran in the wash and could destroy your clothes because that happened too. The pants were uncomfortable and everybody wanted to wear them during the winter months. Why? Because of the song. And what happened during the winter months? People put on weight. And this is where the problem lies because it's not comfortable. Contradicting Nelly's vision. As a matter of fact, one girl on my Facebook group said this. Of course she can't. So how can we fix this? How can they come back? What is a great way to rebrand this brand? Well, first, they should stand on their principles, what they originally was created for. Comfortability. That should be their obvious choice and their fallback to always. Because women still wear denim shorts during the summer. If the brand wants to just sell denim, fabric weight and color choices should be a thing. Nobody wants to be hot. Nobody wants that dye running down their legs or dye blending in their washed clothes. As a matter of fact, they probably should make even more jeans than what they had, like high-waisted jeans and distressed denim jackets. In short, they would just need a brand refresh, but what they present in their shop should be a little bit more different from what they had. Another possibility is influencers, not just celebrities, but maybe young YouTubers. These are the people that actually engage and say, this is where I bought this from. They respond to comments and DMs. These are people that are seen more. Now here's another possibility that a lot of people don't really talk about, which is collaborations and store features. When a brand is featured in the store, it propels them. This is why t-shirt designers usually go to places like Zoomies, because they are light content and the audience would generally take to them. Case and study, Urban Outfitters, Supreme. Zoomies, Sketchy Tank. Mark Anthony, Coles. These are just a few examples to name. In my honest opinion, the only place that can take an apple bottoms and actually can propel them as they're propelling as well is Akira. It would be a perfect match for an up-to-date apple bottom. Why? Because they're both stationed in Chicago, they both target urban women fashions, and they both can inspire creativity. And that's only assuming that apple bottom continues to create denim jackets and comfortable jeans. Not only that, but women can actually buy the apple bottoms and get the boost with the furs right there in Akira. And if Akira wanted to expand into Canada, this would be a great move for them because literally they're creating a new fashionable look. Now here's something I suggest strongly. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been calling them apple bottoms. I really don't call them apple bottom jeans because the jeans is limiting them. And in history, you can tell that the consistency was being distorted, which is the reason why they have perfume and jewelry. And since this website is pushing apple bottoms, they should probably move in with that. Keeping the denim aspects, but being able to change the name just slightly so they can sell things like jewelry and perfume. This is what keeps the brand fresh in people's minds, even if they're not wearing the pants or the jackets. And this actually opens up a possibility for them to create a shirt line. Not just because I'm a t-shirt designer, but to keep people thinking about the brand. When you saw this, didn't that make you want to buy some shoes from Vans? When you saw this case, didn't that make you think about your iPhone? T-shirts and shirts will always be great ideas, but they can't just be regular graphic t-shirts with a logo slapped on it. We want to engage the minds, go back to the roots. Stuff that says clothes should fit the person. Stuff that targets them mentally, especially if they're going to work with a cure. So with all that being said, I feel like Apple Bottoms can return. And that can be huge, assuming that they leave that Dr. J's brand. I only told half the story. I didn't even want to get into too much details because I want to leave that floor up to you guys in the comment section to share your experience and theories. Hey, maybe you don't think Apple Bottom can return. Maybe they should just be Apple Bottom jeans. Maybe you should write the new hit song for Apple Bottoms. 
By the way, I found a men's clothing brand that we all rejected, but I theorize we'll be back if they aren't already back. And if you guys like this case study and you want to see that one too, make sure you subscribe. You'll be notified when my next case study comes out. But, oh my god. When I say this next one here is going to blow you guys' minds, just make sure that you guys are tuned in. But with that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.